can I place an order for takeaway? Can I get um, a Rock City roll and a Joy roll? Okay, thank you. I did it. I get sushi. <laughs> I'm so excited. Lucy, ah, that makes me so nervous. It's okay. It feels like high school all over again. It's okay, right? Yeah, we're fine. I love you. While we wait for sushi, whoa. Um, I'm going to vacuum. I'm going to fold my laundry, which is right there. And um, then we're going to get sushi and we're going to have a chat. I'm in the car with a, a dog and an avocado. Let's, oh my God. I feel like it's so zoomed in. So, I intended on eating sushi. <gasps> oh my God, I almost killed my dog. Almost. Get that. Yeah, yeah. Okay! I was gonna eat sushi and also talk, but like, now that I have it, all I wanna do is watch Gilmore Girls and eat it, so I think I'm gonna do that. Then we will discuss things that must be discussed. Sound good? Sound good? Look at this. Look at this. <gasps> I'm about to get. Dicked. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> so, if you guys don't follow my Twitter, you probably aren't as up to date because that's where I've been tweeting. So I'll give you the rundown. If you care about Warmish, then, you know, I guess, listen, I guess it's not anything in jeopardy. It's just something that's happened. Um, so I was at work mm, a couple days ago. And I got a notification on my video on the podcast, the Warmish podcast, and someone said, um, I'm so sad that Warmish is blocked in the U.S. And instantly I was like, wait, the fuck? Like, what? And so I go on my, you know, my channel, and I saw that it was there, but I figured, like, because I was signed in, you know, it can mess with things sometimes. So I logged out, and I typed in Warmish, and lo and behold, I click, and it says it's not available in the US so of course I'm at work and I start freaking out and I like can't really like look at what is happening but I'm like the whole time I'm like checking customers out and I'm like just so sidetracked because I'm like what the fuck is going on because I have used copyrighted content in the past I've had my videos demonetized I've had them not able to be monetized I've had you know I've never like gotten you know, in trouble or anything, because people use copyrighted content all the time, and I always give credit and whatever, but, like, I've had that happen, because I do use other people's songs, and I'm aware that that happens, like, if I post a video, and I use someone's song for the majority of the video, I am aware of what I am doing, and I give credit, but it doesn't always, you know, like, it doesn't always complete it, if it's someone else's song, it's someone else's song, <laughs> like, it's not like it's a YouTuber, it's not like I can put Lady Gaga's song on my video and expect not to get busted, so I was thinking this whole time, like, why the fuck, what the fuck is this, why is it blocked? Because even though I have my videos, you know, some of them are monetized differently or can be blocked, they've never been blocked in the U.S. Basically, I found out that UMG had given me a copyright claim almost eight months after I posted Warmish for a song that is played for one minute in the short film and it's the scene the party scene I'm sorry I'm getting angry again <laughs> um, it is an Aurora cover it is the song teardrop she did a live studio performance of it and the song is in like 3957 something like that maybe I'm crazy but I thought that's what it was like it's it's I looked I looked at it it's a minute it's the party scene it is a minute long the song is in it for a minute you know when you get a copyright claim they sh they tell you what part the song is in it was a minute it was one minute so they were pegging me for <sighs> this minute of a cover it's not Aurora's song it is a cover Aurora did 
which technically you're not supposed to be able to like peg people for covers. That's why people do covers because it's not yours. Like it's not Aurora's song. How the fuck? No. Okay. Anyways, they pegged me for copyright. So I filed a dispute because that's what you can do. And I was fucking pissed because I have gotten copyright claims before and a lot of the time what they do is they just demonetize it and they like change the platform so like you can't watch it on your TV or something. But they fucking blocked it in every country. I don't even know if that's a thing. Like in it, it said in every country. It didn't say like United States, um, Brazil, London. Like it, it didn't say like a list of countries. It said in every country. It said every country. I wish I had taken a screenshot of it because it said every country and I was like, what? Like, what? So I filed a dispute and I said, my video has already been posted for over six months and is just now creating issues for this claim. The song is a cover and I gave credit in the description so I should receive no penalties and my video should not be blocked in any countries. Um, and I, I said that and I sent it and I didn't say anything about, you know, monetization because that's not what I really care about. I shouldn't, I was mostly just focused on getting it unblocked from every fucking country because I was like, what, the, what's the fucking point? Um, so because I did like one of the certain check marks, it automatically became unblocked until, and then they, that company UMG has 30 days to decide whether or not my dispute is valid. And like the next day they decided that it wasn't valid. So they unblocked it still and they demonetized it and they changed the platform so like you might not be able to watch it on mobile some people might not be able to watch it on mobile which is fucking shitty and annoying because I know that's how most people watch their videos but they fucking blocked it and they demonetized it which is not a big deal a lot of my videos are demonetized and that does not bother me because I don't I didn't start making YouTube videos to make money off them I don't even make that much money off them now at all like that's why I have a job because I don't make money off of it but they demonetized it from me which just really fucking pisses me off so um they the company which is probably like a multi-million dollar company or like thousand heirs like a lot of money they get the rights they get to monetize my video it's monetized by the claimant so they get to monetize my video and um I just think it's not fucking fair because <laughs> the song is in one minute. Wormish is 49 minutes. That is 48 minutes of content that I own. It is mine. I created it. It's my footage. It's songs that people allow me to use that is their original songs or as covers that I will not get in trouble for. It is my art. It is my content and now they are getting you know the credit they're getting the money for it and it's not even about the money because I could care less about the money it's about the moral of what the money stands for because rightfully that's my fucking money I made Wormish it's my child I deserve to get every credit that is from it besides like Zoe and Alex and the actors like I did everything and it's so frustrating that now, because of a one minute thing in my fucking 48 other minutes, they get all the credit for all the other minutes that has nothing to do with them. And that's what I am talking about. That's why I'm even talking about it right now, because it's so fucked up. It's so fucked up. It's not even like, oh, it's not fair. I want my money. It's fucking wrong. It's not okay, and I want to make a platform that is like YouTube where shit like this doesn't happen. Because that's so unbelievably awful and wrong and dirty, and it's so fucked up because they have no rights to the rest of my video. Like, they don't. If they want to monetize the one minute, they can fucking do that. They can demonetize the rest of the video. They can have that one minute and they can make as much money off of that song in the one minute. But they don't own the fucking 48 minutes. And I understand that this is how YouTube works. For us to get it for free and for us to be able to have copyrighted content, this is how it has to work. But it's kind of fucked up. And I think that they could go around it a better way. I know that YouTube 
does hypocritical shit and YouTube is a beautiful platform and it is amazing and it offers so many opportunities and I'm so thankful I get to make content for it but it's fucked up it's powerful and it, they are hypocritical and I know they do things where they say oh like okay there's a recent situation where they stay demonetize someone's video because he made a video about the, the Las Vegas shooting and he was giving all of the monetization money to charity they demonetized it and tweeted and said it's against their policy to play ads on any videos that talk about tragedy but then in the same sentence Jimmy Kimmel posted a video about the Las Vegas and it had an ad playing it's just hypocritical shit like that I, I couldn't name a list because there's so much like the LGBT stuff when they changed it to safe mode and you couldn't like you couldn't find Wormish for a day. Like, it didn't exist. You couldn't type it in. If you typed in Doty, you couldn't find Sick of Losing Soulmate. They they do shitty shit. They do shitty shit, okay? This should be sushi and shitty shit. Because they do shitty stuff. Okay? They do. And it doesn't make YouTube less. But it, they should fucking fix it. I would fucking demonetize my video. Like, I don't give a fuck. But it's it's... It's the moral of them getting the credit now for the rest of my video that they don't have a right to. Like, ugh, it just makes me so angry. And I wish that there was something I could do about this because I could call YouTube and I could email YouTube and I'm so small that it won't fucking matter what I do. But I wish I had a bigger platform like Shane or Jenna so I could fucking roast them because it's so not fucking cool. And I, I know it's the territory and I know people are money guzzlers, but it's not cool. They're just blatantly stealing people's work that they don't have any say over. How is that? I don't understand how that's even a plausible thing. I don't understand how that's, how that's allowed. I know I have covers. Like, my, my Oh Wonder cover. I get half the money for it because it's Oh Wonder song and I sang it. So they don't demonetize it and get all the money. They half it, which is how it should be. If there's a song or if... Okay, I know movies pay to use songs, but it's the same fucking moral, okay? They pay to use the song. They get the money for their movie. So what YouTube should fucking do is split it, okay? They should split it so that they can have their one minute, but th it's not their video, you know? Like, it's not their footage. It's, it's, they need to find a way to split it. I wish they could, they could find a middle ground because that's fucking bullshit. And it's not okay. And that's not the kind of shit I'm gonna deal with. And from now on, when I create shit, I won't use anything that I don't, own that isn't my name because I'm not gonna fucking put up with that because it's not even that I want money I don't want it to be blocked I don't want people to not be able to watch it that's bullshit and I'm not gonna say it's a hate crime but I think it's kind of a fucking hate crime Wormish got big and they're just now roasting me they're just now trying to bust me because it got big it's not fucking fair and you can fucking demonetize my video or take my money but block it in every single country like I don't feel like that's a thing that I've ever heard of happening before. I'm just really upset and I'm I'm not having a repeat of this. And it sucks because I love including other people's art in my art. That's the beautiful thing. And it sucks that I can't do that anymore. But unless it's a YouTuber, I guess I can't use it because I'll get fucking blocked in every single country and demonetized and they'll get... <sighs> it's so frustrating. But for right now, I think Wormish is fine. I wish there was something I could do, not only fix what's happening with Wormish, but prevent it from happening to anybody, because I know there are innocent things that happen all the time. Like, my friend Rebecca posts gay short films on her YouTube channel that are so pure. There's no cursing, there's no sex, there's no adult content. It is so pure. There's kissing, there's hugging, there's, like, innocent conversation. My fucking content is way worse. Like, my content is, like... Rated R, hers is like rated G. Her videos have been demonetized multiple times or, you know, said like not suitable for all viewers. And that's just fucking bull malarkey. YouTube, get your fucking shit together. You're supposed to be this beautiful platform that lets everybody share and is all diverse and equal and beautiful. Well, stop fucking up. Like, fucking fix your shit. God, I'm just going on like a rampage right now, but that's just, I was just wanted to let you guys know what's up it's really annoying it was really frustrating <sighs> anyways tell me if you want me to post something um i'm working on something hopefully right now soon a short film i'm working on another short film like warmish okay that's all i'm gonna say it's not like warmish but it's 
it's not like commitment issues so it's in the it's in here it's gonna be out here someday but thanks for watching i will see you soon yeah